My guests, Nikki, we're currently at concerts in the park here in downtown Sacramento. And as you can see right behind me, people are starting to trickle in. They just opened up the gates for the event. And a lot of people here, even though it is 100 degrees outside, but we are in the shade, thankfully. And if people need it, people that are trickling in right now, there is a cooling center. And you can actually see right now there are misters on. People are going to get some free water. The organizers do tell us that water is free because of the heat going on today and officials from the state say it's so important to stay cool and green in ways during this heat wave because of course we're all somewhat at heat risk we try to stay cool however we can beating the heat is top of mind this weekend around sacramento it's insane but you know it's we've got to get through it we've been we've got to live in it Tara Quintana's grandson enjoys a day at the Swanston Splash Park in Sacramento's Arden Arcade neighborhood. While others are cooling off with a frozen treat. After a hot day, you know, walking around, say it's about 105, it's, it's a cooling, calming effect. If you feel a chill. The reality of triple digit days in parts of California is why the state launched Heat Ready California, an online hub for tips and resources on heat safety. Last year during the heat wave during Labor Day, we looked at excess, excess deaths and the people who actually had more deaths, excess deaths than predicted um, were actually people who were in working age, and especially among uh, Latinos. They say heat is the deadliest weather hazard, making preparation and caution key. Dr. Tomas Aragon asking the public to look out for the most vulnerable, especially the very young, the elderly, the pregnant, those in low-income households, and the unhoused. All of us at risk, some of us are higher risk. Some signs Dr. Aragon says to look out for. A lot of uh, sweating, and as you start to sweat a lot, you become dehydrated, you can develop muscle cramps, weakness, headache, nausea and vomiting, you can be tired, you can become dizzy. Seeking an air-conditioned, cool environment when possible and frequent hydration can help prevent heat illness. State health officials recommend at least two glasses of water every hour, avoiding caffeine and alcoholic drinks. Quintana says she's making sure her grandkids are always keeping water on hand. Especially with the baby, he's like, he's always drinking something, so we're like, good, he's always staying hydrated. And state officials do say that He Ready California will be available in multiple languages soon enough. So we're talking Farsi, Spanish, Hmong, a whole bunch of languages so people can really get the access yeah. to the information that they need during this heat wave. In Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Kristen Barton, Fox 40 News. Kristen, thank you. Sacramento County has more than a dozen cooling centers, daytime respite centers, or community centers available for those in need. You can find more information about those centers which stretch from Folsom to Galt by going online at 211sacramento.org. Uh, Meantime, in Stockton, the Arnold Rue, Stribley, Seifert, and Van Buskirk community centers will be open Friday, Saturday, and Monday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seifert and Van Buskirk will be closed on Sunday.